red wine. The French love their red wine, but the Aussies love their red wine too. But not only for drinking, for cooking is fantastic. I'm gonna show you how to cook a beautiful red wine sauce to go with the steak. Let's start with the steaks. So I've got two beautiful steaks here, which I took out of the fridge about 20 minutes ago, so it's room temp, so it's not cold inside, okay? So it's easy to cook. Okay, so I'm gonna start by seasoning, of course. Beautiful salt and pepper on both sides. The seasoning is really important on a piece of steak like this. It really draws out a little bit of the moisture and gives a beautiful caramelization on top of it. Bit of oil, of course. The oil goes really high in temperature, that's why it's nice to use. And the butter, it's for flavor. You need to wait for the butter to foam and to turn a little gold as well. It's very important to get a beautiful caramelization on the outside of the steak. Steak in. You need to hear that sizzling. If it doesn't sizzle, it's not hot enough. I know you want to touch that steak, but don't. Leave it to cook for two or three minutes on one side before you turn it over, for medium rare, of course. All right, I think it's ready to turn. Yes. That's what I love about the steak. Beautiful caramelization, just like so. That salt really draws out the moisture, so you get a beautiful caramelization. And by not touching it, it's hot enough to make a beautiful crust. Obviously, the way you want your steak cooked is up to you, but I like my medium rare. And for me, medium rare is when I push on a steak like this, and it's got a bit of a bounce, it's ready. So I'm gonna rest it, which is very important. Resting the meat, it's half of the cooking done. Now we're going to keep the same pan to make the sauce, but we're going to get rid of that burnt butter and start fresh again. So a bit of oil. A bit of butter. Shallots, base of a lot of French sauces. But on this one, you can be quite generous because the beautiful caramelization of the shallots with the acidity of the red wine, marriage in heaven. Okay, reduce the heat underneath. You don't want to burn those shallots. You want to caramelize them very slowly so the beautiful sweetness comes out of it. A bit of garlic. I really wish you could smell what I'm smelling now. Now, when I make a red wine sauce, I like to use something rich with a lot of tannin. So it's got a beautiful, rich color. And Shiraz is perfect. Don't spend a lot of money. 15, 20 bucks is perfect. Now I need to reduce it, but before I reduce it too much, I like to burn the alcohol because the alcohol is actually bitter, so you need to get rid of that bitterness. Here we go. Now you need to reduce this by half to concentrate the flavor of that red wine before we add the stock. So this red wine has basically reduced to a beautiful glaze, really rich. I'm just gonna add the beef stock in there. You don't wanna put too much beef stock because you really want the richness of that red wine in there. So now we're gonna reduce this by half again to really intensify the flavor, and then the magic ingredient, butter. Okay, it's nearly there. Just a couple of seconds, I think. Okay, we've got a stack that has been resting. Beautiful juice, don't throw that in the sink. Just pour it in, more flavor. Now the ingredient that's gonna make that sauce amazing is butter. Just whisk it in, like so. And it's gonna make it rich, thick, creamy. 
a bit of salt. A bit of pepper, of course. And I think a bit more butter, just because. You might look at the recipe and say, but there was only 20 grams. Well, so what? I put 50 grams on this one. More butter, the better. Bit of a taste. Wow. Rich red wine, a bit of acidity. Exactly what we want. A little bit of parsley. Just bring a bit of freshness to the sauce. Like so. All right. My mouth is watering already. Beautiful rested. Look at this beautiful pink steak. Just the way you want it. Medium rare. Okay, on the plate. That's so. And look at this. And now a bit of sauce. And I tell you what, if you don't enjoy that, steak, some roasted potatoes, and a beautiful glass of Shiraz, I don't know what's wrong with you.